Nick Okoto Avocado has shocked the internet with his massive transformation online, but he is now coming out to try and prove to people that this is all real, that it's not AI, these aren't old videos of him, and we're gonna talk about what he's been posting to try and do that, and also the fact that he's been sharing old videos to try and prove to people that he has been open about his plan all along. So we're gonna get into everything surrounding Nick Okoto Avocado. People have been saying that there's just no way this is actually Nick posting in real time. Just not convinced that this isn't all just AI or old videos. But he did post a TikTok where he is doing the current Charlie XCX Apple dance. And everyone is pretty convinced after seeing that video that this really is him right now in present day because there's no way that he could have ever pre-filmed that trend years in advance in his vegan days. But he seems to be absolutely Absolutely living for the fact that there's this huge conversation surrounding his name right now as it seemed to be this huge social media experiment for him that ended up working because yes he's referring to this whole thing as a social experiment that he's done in his transformation reveal video he talked about being two steps ahead and that this was all part of a greater plan for him and as people have been digging around the internet through his old content they found out that this wasn't the first time that he's said these words and that back Back in 2022, he had actually made a video saying that all of this was an experiment for him. Though at the time, people obviously weren't taking him seriously. I am always two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment my entire life. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet. It's alluring. It's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. Nick ended up posting a new video over the weekend linking to this video to show that this was when he originally spoke about the experiment of his. He had even done an interview in the past with James Merritt where Nick said that people don't believe him, but his goal is to just film as much as he can and then transform himself. My goal actually, people laugh about it, but it is my goal. Watch, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna do these mukbangs for another year or two and then see where yeah. I'm at and then I'm gonna lose weight and then show Show everyone how to lose weight doing my thing and I don't even know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do something with weight loss. Can you see yourself doing like lifestyle content? That would be the most ridiculous shift in YouTube history to watch you know hundred dollars worth of KFC to how to lose weight safely. <laughs> how to have a flat stomach, how to oh have a flat God. tummy, how to count your carbs. Yeah. He certainly tried to throw people off though as last year he made a video in April titled I'm always two steps ahead where he said that he had been posting old content of himself to trick everyone into thinking that he was losing weight when actually he wasn't. Peasants on the page. I've been tricking you people by saying I'm on a weight loss journey by posting old photos from three years ago. What's today's date? It's Saturday, April 1st, 2023. <laughs> I'm always two steps ahead. So it's certainly a reason as to why this time around, when he's shocked everyone with this transformation, they've been a little weary about fully believing it because he has trolled so many times in the past. Even though he had said all these things about his plan and talked about this all being a social experiment, there were so many moments where he said that he didn't actually want to lose weight at all and he didn't want to change. So I think people just didn't know what the heck to believe. And it's how he was able to pull off such a shocking transformation and why it's been so heavily questioned as well. Back in 2022, when he was filming collab videos with the YouTuber Oompaville, Caleb had expressed that he wanted to help Nick and that other people wanted to see Nick get help as well. And they wanted to see him get healthy and make a transformation in his life. And Nick refused to change. He would get upset at the conversation being brought up surrounding the idea of getting healthy. He's like, you're staying with me. I'm going, we're going to put you in the gym. We're going to force you. You're not doing out. any of this. Yes, I'm going to make you're you good not food. Brussels, have you ever had a Brussels sprout? When was the last time you ate a vegetable? Be honest. 
He had also talked about the fact that he felt like in order to do YouTube, he couldn't eat healthy. And no matter what the comments say, he knows that they don't want to watch him eat healthy food. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to see you be healthy, lose weight. They don't care. They do. They care. De they care they actually. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something about YouTube. I know you have more subs than me, even though half of them are mine. That got stole. But let me tell you something about YouTube. Oop. People say a lot, but they don't really mean it. They say, oh, we want to see you eat healthy. I did that twice on my channels. Two times? Two times. <laughs> two individual I, I meals? I only had two cheeseburgers instead of four. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got half the views. So people like to talk a lot, but they don't, but their actions speak louder than words. People have been wondering though, what his plan is going forward, if it's to do it all over again or what, because he's posting videos again and they're still mukbangs. Like, is this the beginning of another social experiment for him or something? Nick even sat down with Candy from the channel Hungry Fat Chick and she posted this video of the two of them over the weekend where they ate Outback. They didn't talk too much about anything that's gone on in terms of Nick's transformation or his video or anything about the behind the scenes of it all. They honestly just sat there, talked about the food, and that was pretty much it. Nick did make a joke at one point, though, that he didn't know whether or not her audience has ever seen him eat a vegetable. Have they ever <laughs> seen me eat vegetables on your channel? Mm. Oh, I guess that one time when I was having, uh, I went to the hospital. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> that was like paranoid, panic, excuse me, panic. Yeah, the last time you were here, you had... We're eating vegetables on camera after we did the mukbang. You just wanted to like clear your system out, I guess. <laughs> I was a little desperate. Mm hmm. After eating so much fatty stuff. I was scared. And he did talk about how he felt after filming his recent cheesy noodles video. And we're in a food coma. Yes, we are. Because <laughs> we and, ate a lot of good food. <laughs> and now we're going to have some sugar. <laughs> I'm like, woo! <laughs> So, so what happened was, which is the same what thing. What happened? The same thing that happened in um, my last video on my channel, which was uh, like cheesy noodles, where I'm like, oh, I'm good, and then I stand up, I go change the battery, get some water, I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa, like, yeah, you're feeling it. So I'm this kind, is a lot. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm like, I ate half a stick of butter. <laughs> I ate almost the entire. Eight I'm gonna draw this. Okay. 18 ounce rib <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, oh. So it's not clear what his plan is exactly, but he's just been posting random stuff on social media, the new accounts that he's made, and people just don't really know how to feel. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Something else I'll say is that in his reveal video, he talked about how he hasn't filmed in two years. I haven't made a video for like two years. And um, this is where I'm posting now on this channel. So I hope you consider subscribing if you want. So everyone, including me, thought that he had filmed enough videos to post for two years and that the last two have entirely been old videos. But people have noticed that there were certain expiration dates on the items in his videos that said 2023. So it doesn't seem like it's actually been like a full two years on the dot that he hasn't filmed a video. Another thing is that people want to know what the heck is going on with him in Orlin. He had just posted a video using Orlin's name a month ago, and obviously if they aren't together, it's a bit odd to still be posting and using his name. Orlin has done damage control for Nick in the past when people were worried about him because he slowly started to not post as much anymore. And there was even one period of time where he abruptly stopped posting entirely and everyone thought that something really bad happened to him. And Orlin ended up sharing on Instagram, Nick is alive. Nick is doing well and is taking a break from social media due to some personal issues that were previously 
previously discussed in my last post and in the most recent post of the Nikocado 3 channel. He had said that they broke up in a previous post, but there have been so many times that they've trolled about getting a divorce or breaking up that nobody really knew what to believe when it came to these two. But it's just one of the many questions that people have had right now, and it's giving Nick plenty of content to make as people are just so curious to all the behind the scenes of what has happened in the time that he hasn't sat down in front of the camera to film like a real-time muck bong. I guess we'll just have to see what he continues to post, but as of right now, that's what people have been saying about all of the craziness that is going on right now. I certainly want to know all your thoughts on this entire situation because it is just so insane and there are just so many things that people are saying about this. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.